the rest of this chapter focuses on doing a Mealy solution or doing a Moore solution rather than comparing them. And we've spent so much time on example one and two that I added a narrative to the example one and then created a Mealy and Moore solution so that we can compare them and build an intuition up about those solutions. So don't click on this word analysis until you're done reading the rest of the chapter. But right now, what you would want to do is click on this Mealy solution and Moore solution and explore those two circuits. I'm going to do that now so you can see how different they are. Okay, I've got the two circuits up. And it looks like I haven't fully harmonized them. Let's look at our inputs right here, jet black and south north. So I took the two airlines and gave them names. OK. Flying is a process of triggering the clock on the inputs. So once you're ready to fly to another city, you press this button. So I've got fly, toggle, begin flight. But it's basically the same thing. They both look up to the clocks. Looks like I have uh, found four cities out of that mess, and I just named the four cities Seattle, Boston, LA, and Miami. Seattle, Boston, LA, and Miami. All right, now which one of these is which? It looks like this is more because our outputs of the flip-flops are driving the frequent flyer. This is a one when you get frequent flyer points, it's a zero when you don't. Now it looks like this one is a combination of our inputs. You see how the inputs are influencing our frequent flyer. So this is the melee because our inputs are bypassing all the flip-flops and going straight out here to influence Z. Yeah. So we're at Seattle, our frequent flyer is zero, beginning flight zero, zero. So everything is zeros and we're at Seattle. Everything is zeros and we're at Seattle. Okay, we're at the same place. Now I'm going to change from jet black to south north. And my frequent flyer changed without me toggling anything. That's because the input is directly affecting the output. Here I toggle, nothing happens until I fly. Then I get a one and I've flown to Boston and I got one frequent flyer. But I learned about here in more, I learned about getting that frequent flyer point after I landed in Boston. I didn't get a chance to predict the future while I was here in Seattle. Here, before I even fly to Boston, I get an idea that I'm going to get a frequent flyer mile. So now if I fly to Boston, this represents where I've already gotten the frequent flyer, and this is representing that I'm going to get zero if I fly to the next spot on South North. And I'll get zero no matter what. This is predicting I'm going to get zero no matter what. So let's fly Jet Black and Toggle, and I'm flying to Miami. So let's fly Jet Black and Toggle, and I'm going to fly to Miami. And it's going to tell me I got zero frequent flyer miles. But here, it's saying I'm going to get one frequent flyer mile if I fly jet black. This is on the this is the predictive nature of melee. So I'm zero. I'm going to fly again jet black, and I should get yes. I get one frequent flyer mile. So now they're in agreement. I'm going to get one frequent flyer mile. Here I'm going to get one frequent flyer mile. So this is after the fact. This is before the fact. So in summary, melee tells me about the frequent flyer mile I'm going to get before I fly. Moore tells me about the frequent flyer mile I got after I arrived. This is just example one. Now I try to do example two, which the book focused on more, and I created a word problem for that more solution. And then I had to make all sorts of assumptions to get a melee solution, and the melee solution looks even more ridiculous. It looks more disconnected from the reality of the more solution. So the actual word problem up here favors either the more or the melee. It's interesting. Next, what we're going to do are three examples where we're going to start with the word problem and work down to the state table, both 
doing the Mealy and Moore style. Okay, so let's try to draw a Mealy circuit for this serial binary adder. So our starting point is this circle right here. And let's say no carry. That's what we're naming this state. So there's four possible things that could happen to our state. Um, let's see, if it gets a zero, zero, there's going to be no carry. So if it gets a zero, zero, and our output's going to be a zero, because three zeros added together is zero. If it gets a zero, one, there's going to be no carry. Zero, one, and our output's going to be a one. So it's going to stay there because there's no carry. If it gets a one, zero, the output's going to be a one. It's going to stay there because there's no carry. So it's going to switch to this other state here where our carry exists. So there's a one in here. One, one, it's going to output a one and go here. All right. Now it's going to go back to here if it gets a zero, zero, and it's going to output a one because of the carry. Yeah, and then it's going to go back to here. Okay, if it gets a zero, one, it's going to stay here. Zero, one, and it's going to output a zero because the result of one plus one is ten. So the ten keeps it here, but the zero part of the ten is the output. All right, so the same thing's true here. If we get a one zero, it's going to output a zero, but it's going to stay here. And if we get a one one, one one, it's going to output a one and stay here. All right. Now we got to switch gears and think about this in terms of more. All right, so let's see. We're starting right here. And let's use um, the concept of no carry and outputting a zero. Because remember more, we've got to think about our output as part of the state. Now, what happens if we get a zero, zero coming in? Okay, if we get a zero, zero coming in, we're going to stay there and output a zero. If we get a zero one coming in, no carry, but we're outputting a one. So if we get a zero one coming in. See, I don't put the slashes like I did over here because the output's associated with the state. All right. The same thing's true with the one zero. If I get a one one. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 10. So I'm going to make something down here that has a carry, because the 10 implies a carry. I'm going to be outputting a 0. So this is going to be a 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 10. So I'm going to be in this carry state, but I'm outputting a 0. All right, now let's go to this guy. OK, so if I'm right here, I get a 0, 0. It's going to be 0 plus 0 plus 0. Well, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. I want to output a zero, and there's no carry. So I got to go back to here. Zero, zero. So I'm right here. I want to output a one. If I get a one, zero, there's no carry. So I want to output a one with no carry. So I'm going to stay here. So if I get a one, zero, one plus zero plus zero is one. I want to output a one and no carry. So the same thing is going to be true, 0, 1. Now if I'm here and I get a 1, 1, OK. So I'm here and I get a 1, 1 coming in. That's 1 plus 1 plus 0. That's 10. So that's a carry with an output of 0. So I'm going down to here, 1, 1. All right, now I'm here. OK, so I'm here. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is a 1 with no carry. 
So that's 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus the 1 is a 1 with no carry. Now if I'm here and I get a 1, 0, that's a 1 plus a 1 plus a 0. So that's a 10. So that's a carry and outputting a 0. If I get a 1, 1, then that's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So it's going to be carry with an output of a 1. Don't have a state for that, so that's going to be a carry with an output of a 1. So if I get a 1, 1, I'm going to go to here. All right, so let's move to here. Got a carry, and I get a 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is a 1 with a no carry. So I'm going to go up here. 0, 0. All right. If I get a 0, 1, all right, 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 10. So I have to carry with a 0. So 0, 1, 1, 0. It's going to get me back to here because it's going to add up to 10. 1 plus 1 is 10. That's 10. The only way I'm going to stay here is if I get a 1, 1. And one, the carry right here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. So I have a 1 with a carry, so I stay there. And I think I'm done. Let's start over here with our melee. We've got three loops. Only move off with a 1, 1. Yeah, three loops, and I only move off with a 1, 1. Okay. And over here, I've got three loops. Only move back with a 0, 0. Over here, three loops, and only move back with a zero, zero. All right, moving back and forth, I have a output of a one. Yeah. Oh wait, one one, I get a zero going over. One one, I've got a zero. Oh, why did I put a? Uh, that's a zero. I made a mistake right here. Let's correct my mistakes. Okay, so why is that a zero? I'm here, 1, no carry. No carry going on. So 1 plus 1 is 10. So I go over here where there's a carry. All right. Let's look and see if there's some other mistakes. 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. Okay. 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. All right, that was my only mistake. Now let's go over here and look at this more circuit. Okay, A slash 0, B slash 0. All right, now theirs is a little bit different. It looks like my carry and their no carry, these positions are switched. So I've only got one path from here to here. Let's see, they have one path from here to here on a 1 1. Yeah, 1 1. Okay. Now I've got uh, this no carry 0. I got a 0 0 looping back. Yeah, 0 0 looping back. All right, now let's go over to here. No carry and a 1. All right, so this is a no carry and a 1. And I've got them that looping there. No carry and a 1. I've got that looping there. Okay, good. From here, I've got a 1, 1 going to here. From here, from here, I've got a 1, 1 going to here. Yeah. From here, I've got a 0, 0 going back. So, uh, yeah, I was here, I've got a 0, 0 going back. From here, and I've got a 1, 1 I'm going to here. Here and I got a 1 1 I'm going to here yeah all right so these two are swapped let's do this one next and that's here okay so 1 0 0 1 stay 1 0 yeah stay okay if I'm here and I get a 0 0 I go back to diagonal so if I'm here here if I get a 0 0 I go back on the diagonal 0 0 I go back in the diagonal there yeah 
Okay, and if I have a 1-1 one, one here, I'm going down. If I get a 1-1, one, one, I'm going down. All right, so these this position's the same. Yeah, so I'm looping on a 1-1. One, one. And if I get a 0-1, I'm going, well, this is going to be going over to the side. So, yeah, I'm going over to the side. All right, so it looks like my more was correct. Okay, we've been here at the word problem. We finished the state diagram. So let's look at the official state diagrams and work off of them. So we're looking at the official state diagram right here of the Mealy circuit. Let's draw a state table for it. So we have a current state here of A and another current state here of B. They can change states when we get an input of a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. Don't try to do the Carnot map counting here. Now, if we're at state A and we get a 0, 0, what do we do? We stay here at state A. If we're at state A and we get a 0, 1, we stay at state A. In fact, we stay at state A until we get a 1, 1, then we go to B. Now, if we're at B, we stay here unless we get a 0, 0. So, B b, b, and then we go back to a. We get a 0, 0. Now we've got to do the same thing for our outputs. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. See, this is the penalty of melee. So if we were here at a and we get a 0, 0, we have an output of a 0. And if we get a 0, 1, we have an output of a 1, and we have a 1. If we have a 1, 1, we have an output of a 0. Now for a b, and we get a 0, 0, we have an output of a 1. And if we're at B, we get a 1, 0, 1, we have an output of a 0. We have a 0, and we have an output of a 1. So this is our state diagram for a Mealy circuit. Let's check. A, 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 B. A, B, B, B. A, 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 B. A, B, 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 B. 0, 1, 1, 0. So they are a reflection of each other. Yes. All right, let's do the state table for this Mohr circuit. All right, so we have our current states here of A, B, C, and D. And then we have um, inputs of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, as before. For A, we stay here at A. If we're at A and we get a 0, 1, we go down here to C. Or if we get a 1, 0, we go down here to C. And if we get a 1, 1, we go over here to B. And we have an output always of 0. That's this 0 right here. That's state A. At state B, we always have an output of 0. And we stay at B for both the middle ones. Um, we go to state C at a 0, 0. And at a 1, 1, we go down here to state D. At state C, we stay here for the middle ones. And go up to A for 0, 0. And we go to B for a 1, 1. And at C, we're always outputting a 1. Now at D, we're always outputting a 1. And let's see, if we get a 0, 0, we go back to C. If we get a 1, 1, we stay here at D. If we get a 0, 1, or 1, 1, we go back to B. All right, let's compare. 0, 0, 1, 1 in our outputs. A, C, C, B. A, C, C, B. C, B, B, D. C, B, B, D, A, C, C, B, A, C, C, B, C, B, B, D, C, B, B, D. Yeah! Once we've drawn these state tables, we're ready for the shrinkage of these state tables into a smaller one. That's another subject. Your homework is to do this over and over and over again. Good luck.